All right, so today's topic, see, I'm trying to make videos that are kind of shorter, and I always want to talk about subjects that require me to talk about them in length, because they're not uh, two-minute subjects. And today's subject is white privilege. Um, look, I, if there's a thing is white privilege, I like to know where mine was, you know, was or is. Uh, look, this is not a woe is me story. I'm just, these are the facts. I grew up, um, well, first off, my biological dad did not want my mother to have me. In fact, he offered to pay for her to have an abortion. So I wouldn't be here making this video if my mom had taken him up on that, obviously. Um, so, anyways, um, I grew up with my mom, who was, you know, single mother. And we grew up... Um, I started off, we lived in, uh, in a, um, apartment complex, um, it was kind of, you know, it was for low income folks, basically, uh, my cousins were in the, in the same, uh, complex, so that was kind of cool, especially being so young. I was only like three, uh, and you know, grew up poor. And then my mom met my stepfather, and eventually we moved out of the apartment complex and we moved into a two bedroom house in a good area but the uh we're still poor i mean and then my mom had you know my brother or my sister rather and then my brother and i didn't realize that we were poor as a, as a kid, I just never realized it. Um, until about, you know, about middle school. Once I, once I got to middle school, then I realized, okay, um, you know, I wear, I'm wearing a lot of older clothes, uh, my shoes are, I only really get one pair of shoes a year, um, and a lot of the kids had a lot more than me, and, you know, I don't hold that against them, um, you know, their folks were, maybe they came from two-parent, uh, background and all their life, so that's cool. But all I'm saying is, like, I don't, I don't know what white privilege is, personally. Now, as a, as a societal issue, yeah, of course there's white privilege. Um, because it's mathematical, right? Uh, what, 67, we'll say 67 for the low end to 70% of the country population is white, you know? So, um, with that being said, um, you got, you got about 30% of the country who's not white. So, just by pure numbers, it's, you know, 
it's and I'm and I math was my worst subject in school and you know I I could add subtract all you know all the regular stuff once they started throwing uh, letters into math I was done I was like yeah I don't get this I tried to get it numerous times but my brain just will not get will not get it but anyways it's a mathematical thing um you know uh seventy percent white as to thirty percent non white black uh hispanic uh native american you know whatever asian all that my thing is like you know, like I said, I grew up poor, and um, there's a lot of things in in my personal experiences where um, where I just don't see any privilege that I had, and. Even looking back at my my school days, even you know, in high school, um, middle school through high school, um, actually my whole school career, uh, I went to a mainly white school, but we had you know, we had some other uh, races in there, and once we once I got to uh, High school, you know, um, it was still mainly white, but there was a decent percent of of black um, black kids in my school, and I'm gonna tag them in this video because I I love love to hear from them because personally I never seen never witnessed. Um, any kind of uh, racial stuff at my school. Now, that's not to say it didn't happen. As far as teachers go and uh, people in authority, I didn't see any anything of that sort. Now, as far as how other kids talk to uh, my black counterparts, I don't know. I just know I didn't, and I was never like that, you know, I, I never seen skin, and um, it, it was really, when I, the time I was growing up in, it was almost, uh, it was cool to be black, and I, and I believe that it's been that way since the time I, you know, was going to school because hip hop music was just starting when I was in probably, probably at the end of my elementary going into middle school, hip hop was really taking over. Like that's when Dre dropped the chronic and Snoop was getting big and all that and so like a lot of white kids uh, thought because they were listening to this music and they liked it and they thought it was you know kind of cool uh, cool to see the other the other side right that other spectrum that we would otherwise never known about. And it was cool. Um, as someone who grew up and loved uh, rap at that time, especially, like I said, all the old school artists, uh, you know, I don't know. I just, like, 
I wasn't really into much music, but once that stuff started coming around, uh, and once I heard it, like the first song that I fell in love with was Regulate, Warren G and Nate Dogg. I've always loved Nate Dogg ever since then, and probably one of his biggest bands. I think his solo stuff is probably his greatest uh, works. But anyway, as soon as I heard that song, man, it was just, it was, it was so remarkable. I, I'd never heard anything like it. I've heard rap before, but I never heard um, a Nate Dogg figure where he was rapping, but at the same time he was singing. It's called G-Funk, and I know about it now because I'm older, because I lived through it. And God bless Nate Dogg, rest in peace. Um, you know, it's very sad what happened to him and stuff, but really, I, I love to hear from uh, the kids I went to school with. Did you, did you feel like you were treated differently or were you treated differently because of the color of your skin? Um, by, mostly I'm talking about by um, teachers or uh, principal, someone in authority and also did other students treat you different. Now I never witnessed it, like I said. I never seen it uh, firsthand. So I'd be interested to know, but I don't know. For me, the whole white privilege thing is just very hard to conceive because I know my story, you know, my own story. And, you know, if, if I had white privilege, um, I wouldn't have went down a lot of roads I went down. I wouldn't have done a lot of things I did um, because someone would have been there to look out for me and guide me in a better direction but hey that's the way and it doesn't you know being privileged doesn't mean just financially privileged I understand that um, but I'm talking about you know other type of privilege as well though uh, from from a parental standpoint to uh, you know, family, um, just having people that have your back and have your best interest and in looking out for you and stuff like that. So anyways, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm mumbling and yeah, I don't feel I have white privilege and I think for the majority of white folks it's they feel the same as me. They they experience the same things that I have. Uh, grew up poor, you know, all that. Um, grew up with single moms. Same, you know, all that stuff. And I will say, um, I'll speak to this because I know about it. Most of the um, black kids that went to my school had a mom and a dad and you know god bless them and i'm and i think that more than anything probably helped you guys um and guided you guys so i don't know i mean i i can't wait to read your comments and uh see where you guys stand on this, but I think 
for the most part, that it's a mythical thing, white privilege. Now, obviously, there are certain people who are just privileged, and they happen to be white. But there's a lot of uh, privileged other races out there, too. It's all on a case-by-case, -case, individual basis. We cannot look at everything in this large scope, okay? We can't do that. Because if we do that, then we just throw everyone in there, and we just say, you know, this whole race is bad, or this, the, all these people are bad, and they've all been treated so much better than us, and it's like, you know, at what point, then who's who's left on the outside of that circle? Who, who's left out here, you know, out here? And very few. So, anyways, yeah, I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you for watching. If you like this, uh, please like. If you don't like this, uh, if you disagree with me, um, you know, tell me what you disagree with in the comments below. Um, if you have any input, drop it in the comments below. And hit the subscribe button. You have a great one. Peace. Later.